Take you for a little walk around the Bailey Alliance 59.2. We'll start at the back. So we've got this step here, and uh, so it it automatically retracts when you start the engine. There's a button down here that you can put it up with. But what do you think? Do you think this step is a bit high? It's, I thought it's a little bit high. Yeah. 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 Measure your. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The uh, step, it, the door is quite high up as well. Yeah. If yeah, you look at the, the lip inside, it's quite a lip. And what, yeah. that, and what that means is that the awning is quite close to the door, so you have to have the awning fully out before before you open the door. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, a little bit of a negative to start on. Um, Bailey comes with steel wheels, uh, wheel trims. 15 inch aren't they? The wheels? Uh, 15 inch wheels. Electric point, usual sort of stuff. It's your TV in there, TV and satellite if you so choose. You've got an outside locker here, fuel filler cap here. And you spot it's got the Ad Blue 160 brake horsepower engine. It's a Peugeot, isn't it? Yeah. Right, right. water filler cap. Make sure the key's in all the way. Ah, can't get the thing off. There. So it's yeah. just a straight hole basically, isn't it? We found uh, you've had to, had to fill it quite slowly, haven't you? Yeah. You get If you get a bit of uh, pressure on the water, it, it actually comes out of that as well. Yeah. So you have to have it trickling in, which is a bit of a pain. Yeah, because otherwise it says 100%. And yeah. It's not 100%. No. no. The heater outlet. Yeah. For the trimmer. That's just the vent. That's the gas locker. So there's provision for two six kilogram gas bottles in there. We've only got one in here at the moment. It's got the, um, you see that? It's got a crash protection thing on there. So you can, in theory, use the heating when you're going along. Yeah. You can't use the fridge whilst you're going along, unfortunately, on gas. No, no. See, if it blows, why can't you do that? Well, it will blow out and you can't relight it. It's, an, a, ma it's a manual fridge. Right, okay. Right, so. This is where you put in the flush water. So this is a flush water tank. You put in blue, um, you put in pink, pink. <laughs> and water in there. Yes. I find these a real pain. <laughs> I mean, all Baileys have them. Yeah. Toilet yeah. cassette, just in there, normal sort of um, Thetford toilet cassette, nothing unusual about that. What you have got is you've got uh, fittings for a bike rack. So. Two fittings up there for a bike rack. There's no reversing camera on this van, which yeah. I always think is a shame. And I really think all manufacturers ought to fit reversing and rear view cameras as standard. But yeah, it's a handsome little van, just under six meters. Oh, I haven't mentioned the awning as well. On top, you've got an awning. Yep. And on top of that, you've got a solar panel. I wonder if it's I don't know if that helps, but uh, it's got a solar panel on the top, a t an aerial as well. Uh, the Advance doesn't come with an aerial or a solar panel. You've got a nice awning light as well, so we've sat out quite a few evenings with the awning light on with friends. Yeah. yeah. Right, shall we okay. back indoors. go inside? Right, are you concentrating? Because here comes the technical stuff. Right, the MTPLM of this van, that's the maximum weight this van can weigh, is 3,500 kilograms. Its mass in running order is 2,680 kilograms. Now the mass in running order includes a driver, includes one gas bottle, it means that all the water tanks are empty and you have one LPG gas bottle. So the difference between the MRO and the MTPLM gives you your payload of 820 kilograms. You with me so far? Yep. It can tow up to 2,000 kilograms and its gross train weight and that's the the maximum weight of the van plus a trailer is 5,500 kilograms. Now its engine 
is up to 160 brake horsepower and up to 350 newton meters of torque. That's quite a powerful engine and it's the same engine that's in the autograph range. So this van has plenty of go for a very lightweight van. Fresh water is 95 litres and the wastewater tank is 93.5 litres. It can hold two 6 kilogram gas bottles. The bed is 2.08 metres by 1.34 metres or in old money 6 foot 10 by 4 foot 5. This has been the technical specs. Thank you for listening. So what about the cab and the driving of this van? Well it's first to say first thing to say is that the driving experience has been really good. I've really enjoyed driving this van. It's like a little go-kart in for, as far as motorhomes go anyway. Um, it's turning circle is brilliant. It's easy to get in parking spaces and it, it it catches up to motorway speed in no time at all. You have no trouble getting up to speed on the motorway with this or keeping that speed either. Tended to leave it at about 66 miles an hour going along the motorways. You can go f you're f going faster than the trucks, but uh, obviously not as fast as the idiots in the outside lane. So what speeds? So you're you're able to do speeds like a car, aren't you? Yeah. Whereas we're restricted. Yeah, you can keep up with cars. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. yeah. So no, absolutely I've loved driving this this van. It's been great. So First thing to notice when I switch the ignition on, it says tire pressure monitoring unavailable. So there's some sort of problem with the tyre pressure monitoring system. Uh, the tyres are fine, there's nothing wrong with the tyres, but uh, I'm told that every time you change the pressure on these vans, you have to get it reset, which seems bizarre. Uh, so I think it probably just needs resetting. Let me step you through some of the facts and figures here. Average speed, 30 miles an hour. Travel time, we've been travelling for 34 hours, would you believe? We've got... 165 miles left on the tanks, so we might need to fill up before we go home. We've done 1,034 miles on this trip, and the average consumption 28.8 miles per gallon. So the first thing you get when you switch it on is the sat nav, the TomTom -tom sat nav. So what do you think of the the uh, sat nav, Jan? Well, it's been quite easy to plan a route using postcodes. Yeah. The only thing that's big thing that's missing is you've got no campsites in it so you have to go by the postcode of the campsite yes which, so it's not know, some programmed. areas could be huge yeah yeah so that that's um that's one big big thing isn't the, it? yeah and the also the other big big thing is that you can't program in how long you are how tall you are and how wide you are no so therefore no. You, you could risk going down a slightly Dodgy road, you don't dodgy want road. Yeah, yeah, because it's really a car. It is a car sat nav, and it's the same that's in the cars. Yeah, yeah. I'm told. I'm told in the next version of the Peugeot Boxer, they're going to be adding dimensions into the sat nav so that you'll be able to program how long, how high, how wide. Yeah. And it should then take into account low bridges, width restrictions, and weight limits. So what else to mention on on the cab area? You've got the radio controls there, that's quite nice. You mute, can mute, you've got the phone controls uh, over here. You can operate the phone. I keep forgetting to use those because my own van doesn't have those keys on it. And uh, Other than that, it's a pretty standard six-speed uh, Peugeot Boxer. Um, I've got a mass of wires over here, mainly for the cameras and that sort of thing. Charging various things. Charging various things. Normally you've got like an ashtray thing in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean the other great thing about the radio is very good isn't it? The sound that comes from it. Yeah the sound's nice. pretty good. I would like, it would be nice if there were speakers up there somewhere. Yeah. There's only two yeah. two speakers. Because, but they've been quite adequate even when we've not been going along. And of course what we've loved, I think we mentioned it before, is a CD player. Yeah. yeah. It has a CD player. Look folks. <laughs> <laughs> up there, that little great. slot. Yeah. Yeah. Why are mo why are other vans? Well, my van doesn't have a CD player. I've no, no idea. No. So the in cab entertainment has been pretty good. We haven't had the heating on, obviously, have we at all at the front? No. There. But the air no. conditioning. Air has conditioning worked has perfectly. worked really well. I mean, yeah. And on on this van, you've got cup holders uh, down here. Uh, I think they did away with that locker, which was I suppose was quite useful, but you had nowhere to put your water bottle. No. But you have got uh, auxiliary inputs here USB oh and that is the other thing to mention about the um, 
the, the radio, it also works on Bluetooth audio. Yeah. So I can play audio from my phone through the radio. Through the radio, Which yeah. is a bit of a novelty for me again, because our van doesn't have that. Poppy. Poppy, could you look to the camera, please? Thank you. So let's just mention the cab seats, because I think like most uh, Fiat Ducatos and Persia Boxers, they are the, the pretty much the standard seats that you get. But they are very nice looking seats, and they are extremely comfortable. Yeah. I mean, you can go long distances on these. You've got to remember that these vans were designed for lo uh, for long distance or long time in the seat. Right, let's talk about the subject everyone wants to hear about. How did we get on with the beds? Uh, first of all, let's just have a look at the, the, uh, the seat. I mean, it's a fairly deep seat, so it's nice and comfortable when you're sitting on here. And uh, it's good size backrest there as well. So I've no problem at all with the seats. Someone said that they do seem to they have got little bottom holes basically <laughs> people have been sitting so they they do seem to ruck up a bit but they are extremely comfortable so what we got under here so let's just have a look under here first of all and just about lift this up this is quite heavy to lift what we've got and the reason it's heavy is you've got the table under here got it on a slidey thing and this is one of the, one of our negatives you can take the table out and it's a bit of a beast mm. and if I turn it over the first thing that happened when we got the van there's a clip here that sort of held this to stop this thing flapping about and what happens when you open that locker in here what happens is that it catches on this because this is quite a heavy table and it's quite useful because Try not to take anyone's <laughs> eye out here. Because it, it's quite a good table. Yeah, you can see the size of it. Yeah, but if we've only haven't had more than us two eating, have we? No. But if we had friends round, that would have been, that would have been really good, good for a meal. Yeah. But would you take a table this size with you when there's just two of you? Probably I not. I would like no. to see this table about that size, about, about there. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit shorter. Yeah. Because you, I'm now struggling to get out. You struggle out to, to get out, don't and you? And to get in. Yeah, yeah. You can move it a little bit over there, then they're trapped. Yeah. So, I'm not a fan of this table, I must admit. I think it's its location as well. Though. Yeah. We, we've yeah. hesitated to to use the table well, sometime because we think we've got all this palaver of getting it out from under there. Yeah, I've, just, I, I've said that, I'm going the wrong way now. <laughs> Having said that, I've got all the palaver of putting it back again. You know, yeah, so. we've taken it outside, I mean it's been, yeah, it's it's been good outside. outside, been a nice big table then. Yeah, have a look under there, that's all our bedding. We've got a couple of duvets and two pillars, and that's it in there. Apart from the chairs. Oh, a couple of chairs, yeah, beg your pardon. I mean, we have got these long chairs, that's the trouble. Yeah, we've got these big uh, I mean, Austin are, chairs. If we had smaller chairs, uh, yeah. there wouldn't be so much of a squash in there. No, and I have really squashed those down. Yeah. So, so what's, that, what's this? Uh, well, that's here. the electrical unit. That's the electrical unit. You've really unit. got to be careful not to cover that as well. Yeah, and switch something off. Yeah, we've actually switched something off, putting the bed in a way. Yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like I say, not a big fan of that. And the other thing to mention with the table, and I've put this on the snags list, I'll show you. You see this runner here? This is what the table sits on. Can you, can you see that it's gone over at an angle? It's actually twisted round. It's actually twisted round. It keeps twisting round when you put the table on it. And when we first picked up the van, the table was on the floor of the locker. Yeah. So you're now going to put the table away. I'm now going to put the table away. And what sometimes happens is the leg then comes off, comes down. So it's okay once you've put it away. But it does make that whole thing weigh quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. The other thing to mention, I don't know if I'm getting out now. He said, "No, it's buried. It's actually buried under there." Is the awning? Um, I've got the awning winder, the big long handle, under there, which is our awning <coughs> winder, isn't it? Which is our awning winder because the one that's supplied it is too long to fit in the cupboard properly. 
Yeah. It won't lie that way. It lies that way and blocks everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's bizarre. Yeah. I mean, you could probably put it on a clip somewhere, probably by the door. By the door, yeah. 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 Just want to mention the storage under here, or rather the lack of storage under here. Because if I lift this up... Oh! Yeah. What you've got under there is you've got the water tank, which is nice that it's inboard because it doesn't freeze when it's cold. And you've got the heater unit. Yeah, so that cupboard is... You wouldn't want to put anything else in there. I don't there. think you'd want to put anything else in there. So that cupboard is actually used up. So we can't really use that. No, no, I don't think you want to move a lot of wires. No, no. Yeah. Okay, so here goes. So get rid of the cushions. Take the covers off. Fold them neatly. <laughs> and then what you do is take, undo those clips there, lift this up, and this whole unit here falls out. And this is the tricky bit. All right, all the way across till it fits over there. You turn this cushion over. Tell me if you can't see it. Yeah, I can see it. Turn that cushion over there. Like that, put that over there. Put that cushion over there. Grab the bedding. Yeah. Because yeah. you always forget to do that. Yeah. I won't do that now because. No, no, don't want to. No, I'll show you our, our bedding. It's horrible. Look <laughs> at <Go> that far. <laughs> now you put that cushion there. Lean over there. You put that there, and then you've got a gap. Yes. And this. And this, this gap, gap <laughs> is filled by you. Another of our favourites. <laughs> The infill cushion. The infill cushion. The dreaded infill cushion. You see how much space that takes up in the wardrobe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And what you do with the infill cushion is that fills the gap. And a whack. So that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Yeah. Because I've only been recording for one and a half minutes. Yeah. So, so you put your bed in out. Yeah. And it is job done then. So we're much better at doing this now, aren't we, Poppy? Yeah. She, she doesn't find it quite so amusing. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's the bed put away, and that takes about a minute and a half, so it's not too bad. Now, I've got used to making up the bed. It's been, it's been fine. Uh, it's just something you get used to. Uh, I mean, it's obviously a penalty of, a, of a, only having a two-birth fan that's only got this as a bed, but uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Right. I just want to mention the, the cupboards in the Bailey. They, are, they do seem to be very well made and they're free from rattles. They've got a positive lock on them and you can fit quite a bit of stuff in there. And you can just let them go. And that is really nice. This van is remarkably free of rattles. And I think one of the big things that rattles in a van are the cupboards. Mm. You can see all the cupboard space we've got over there in the kitchen and over here. So uh, no complaints at all about cupboard space, it's absolutely brilliant. What I do have an issue with is these open lockers. I think I've said this before, I really don't see the point of open lockers. Things fall out of there and crash on your head when you're driving. Yeah, Poppy's lead did on my head. Fell, Poppy's, Poppy's lead fell lead. on your head. Yeah, yeah. a shot that was. There's another one here. And all you can end up doing is put like soft furnishing in there. That's Bexy's bed. It's been all the way Glenn. to North Uist. It's been all the way to North Uist, uh, all around the country, and it's on its way back to you eventually. <laughs> but it fits perfectly in one of these open cupboards. cupboards. <laughs> yeah. um, mention the uh, USBs in the lights. These are a brilliant invention. Got them in our own van, and yeah best things ever invented for phones and motorhomes. Yes, yeah. One thing I, I have a problem with is there is a creek as I'm driving and it's coming from the back of this area somewhere and I, I can't for the life of me figure out what it is. No. Something's going ee, 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 ee. Oh, no, and, it's, it's and it spoils it. Yeah. Seven, like you say, nothing else appears to rattle. If there's something rattling in the kitchen, it's way back anyway. Yeah. yeah. And it's just... 
spoils the sound, doesn't yeah. it? it? Otherwise, it would be brilliant. At motorway speed, you don't hear it, but no. when driving around the campsite, yeah, it's... Like, yeah, it's like there's a little mouse or something in yeah. there. Yeah, not nice. Yeah, first of... When we first started using this fan, we thought, why is that down at a lower level? Yeah. If that was higher up, maybe the table could go in there. Yeah. Then we've had people round yeah. in this very sociable lounge yeah. and found it a great place to put coffee cups, etc. Yeah. Haven't we? Yeah. And it's just at the right level. If, if it was all at that level, maybe that would be too high. Yeah, everyone might be too high and things yeah. would fall off at a great height. I suppose they've got less yeah. <laughs> to so, fall there, haven't they? So, you know, we've so mixed of feelings about that. Yeah. to get used to that and yeah. found it was quite nice, really. Yeah. One thing recovered. I would say is if we, you know, we mentioned about the table being under the bed if that was a little bit bigger or the table was a bit smaller yeah it could perhaps fit in there but then you wouldn't be able to fit all your other stuff in no no one of our favorite appliances in the kitchen is the russell hobbs russell hobbs microwave, microwave which also doubles up as a mirror yeah. doesn't it yeah yeah now, one, of, one of the complaints i have heard about this van is that there's no mirrors in the lounge there's nothing here on this door or that door but if you're tall enough <laughs> you can use the Russell Hobbs microwave. I can just see the top of my head <laughs> yeah. with it, can't I? Yeah. So. so tell me about the microwave. Well, it's a little bit... I don't think I've actually used it, I confess. You haven't used it? No. no. Um, I've set the clock on it. Oh, yeah. You can, you've got a clock on there, Yeah. which is quite nice because you can see it from the bed and you think, oh, blimey, Poppy, it's only four o'clock in the morning. Do you yeah. really want to get up? That's right. <laughs> and it, it's... And it's a nice chunky door. Yeah, we've got the um, plate still in its, it's cardboard. Yeah, we haven't it? used it since we last came back. But no. it's very easy to use. It's very clear. You've got power. You've got weight and defrost. Stop and clear. Clock. Yeah. Start. Yeah. It, it's just it's very great. easy to use. The only issue I have is it's a little bit. It's a bit high for you. I well, no, you're reaching across it. Yeah, you're like reaching across this. Reaching across here. Yeah. Up, up um, to there. I mean, the problem I have is once we take the packaging off the turn table yeah i can't really see how if i'm putting it on the right place yeah. by luck sometimes i am or yeah. i have to get you so, to so I, I normally sort of fit the turn yeah, table using it is great yeah. because you get something out you can put it you here put it straight down rather yeah. than sometimes you get a microwave that won't oh, do with yeah and especially else. especially you know, vans that have microwaves above cookers yeah. you drop something out of the microwave and it crashes onto the glass top of the cooker you're done for yeah so i think this is far safer having yeah. it here yeah. especially with this underneath yeah okay the ca i can't use that cupboard so. <laughs> <laughs> this cupboard yeah this is my cupboard so yes, i'm the only one who can actually reach this <laughs> so what we got in there sort of like manuals and toolboxes and spare bulbs and other stuff that I probably don't know what's in there no, because I can't. I can't see you what's can't in there. See the camera can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so no, I suppose you could use the camera and have a look what's in there. Yeah. 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 So you've got. So you've got the controls here. And it tells you your water level, uh, your waste level, twenty-three percent. We're gonna have to empty the tank soon. Your internal temperature, blimey, it's thirty-one in here. Uh, what battery you're using? How many amps you're taking out of that battery? Your leisure battery voltage 14 volts and the time so yeah that all works well over here you've got pump off pump on lights off lights on and the awning light awning on awning off i quite like the fact it tells yeah. you that what it's done yeah it's very very simple isn't yeah. it it's, yeah yeah okay right so i press that yeah. and then this comes up and whatever's yeah. flashing is yeah. what you're on at the moment yeah so okay. I'm not sure what I can do on we'll the press motor. It, press it again. Just is off. It's off. So the heating's off. Is okay. that the heating? That's All the right. heating for the van. Don't turn it on because it's 31 degrees in here. No, so just press, press it that again. again. Press it again. That's it. And then you can go to the next one. You turn it. And that's the water heater. And so that's on, on at the moment. So you can turn that off because we've, we've had a shower now. Just turn it. That's don't want it on boost. No, don't want it on boost. Off. Oh. Get to off. Did off. Off. That's yeah. it, and then press it again. Yeah. Next one. Uh, the next one's your power source, isn't it? Either yeah. gas yeah. or electric. And we're on electric two. two. I don't know what the difference between that and electric one is. Well, I think it's how many kilowatts are going into it. I, I don't know the exact figures, but that's the most powerful one. Using right. the most electricity. We probably don't need to be on that. No. Um, so it's gone back to the time. Press it again. That's it, and then go back to... That's I, it. This is 
Oh, gone past it. Now go back to the energy selection. Right. So press it again. Yeah. You turn that. That's electricity one again. That's a mix of gas and electric, and that's the other. And uh, the that's probably using less electricity. That's basically it. Gas, yeah. 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 And then, and that's then just gas. gas. So you switch that on gas if you need heating or water when you're off grid. Yeah, which we showed when we were at Herman Fest. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want it on that one now? Yeah, then? that'll do. Because we don't really need it. And then this is what we have been making a lot of use of. Yeah. But in order to use it, you have to switch the water off, don't you? Because otherwise you get hot air coming out of the vent. Well, you have to make sure that, well, it's, you have to have the heating off. It's gone off again. It times back to the... Turn the heating off. Turn the, you've turned the water off, haven't you? Yeah. So, say it. Go to the fan. Uh, go to the fan. Yeah. It's off at the moment. Off at the moment. That vent, press it again. And that's the the how powerful it goes. Yes, I think it goes with naught to ten. I think it, it is naught to ten. Yeah. Yeah. So. Down here, you've got a twelve volt socket. You've got a TV aerial point and a single plug socket. Master switch for the lights. Yeah. And that controls all the lights which we've got on at the moment because I've got the curtains closed because I don't want people watching while I'm filming. <laughs> Let's talk about skylights. Um, we've got this um, skylight here. You've got a fly screen on it. You just clip it and that goes back. You see how mucky the van's got. And it's got several clips to hold it in place. So you've got one there and one there and one there and one there. And what you do to open it is you turn it you undo that. Um, that clip unclip and these have got buttons on them so you have to push a button in turn it I suppose that's for security reasons so what they need to do is just push it up and you tighten up these knobs there both of them and that lets some air in I've got mixed feelings about though this skylight yeah um ours doesn't open does it ours doesn't open which uh, I've never thought, thought I wish this opened. No, no. It's, I mean, it's quite nice yeah. to open it. It creates a little bit of wind noise. Mm. You do get a bit of wind noise at higher speeds with that, and we don't get the wind noise because ours is a fixed one. You can't open it. Okay. No. I've had a little problem with these catches here. We were going in particularly windy weather along a motorway, and the one these catches, there was a sort of a pop and these catches came off the latch and they ended up on that second latch there mm. and it was quite a, quite a pop wasn't it yeah and we stopped and yeah. we, we found out that's what it was and I think it, it could happen if you don't do these these up as well yeah because I, I think it's obviously quite a bit of pressure on this so I think it hasn't happened since I did those up properly yeah but I think if you look at it that catch to me doesn't look like it's going all the way or very far into that. If you look, it looks like it could slip off. Yeah. Anyway. So it only happened, well, it happened once, didn't it? Yeah. Then we stopped and you, you discovered that it had gone on to the other th thing. Yeah. Put it back and then we'd gone a bit further and did it again. Yeah. Wind must have just been at the di that direction. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, not happened since. No, no, it hasn't. Okay, the other skylight you've got here, conventional hecky. You've seen them in all sorts of caravans and motors, and uh, that does give you quite a nice bit of breeze. Yeah. And you put a fly screen across, stop the wasps coming in. Look at them. Oh, wasps. The wasps have been quite a problem, haven't they? They have, yes. Another one there. Obviously, you've got the fly screen. I always pull the wrong one across. I don't know if you do that. Go to close it at night and you pull the fly screen across, very useful. The blinds, let's just have a look at the blinds. There's a, a mesh to, for privacy and a blind. And all they do, they just pull down and they lock. They are very simple to use. You've got curtains. I have used them, I actually okay. have used oh, them, right. yeah. yeah. I think it was probably to keep the heat out. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it was very hot. We were parked up at Stowe Gardens. Yeah, oh, that's right. And you I put the curtains the and the blind down yeah. to try and keep the heat off the side of the van. Yeah. Let's talk about fridges. 
this is a manual energy selection fridge so what it means is that wherever you are you have to choose the most appropriate selection for the energy so currently we're on electric hookup so that's the electric hookup if we were driving it would be on the battery symbol that's actually running off the ignition when the van when the engine's running if you're parked without electric hookup anywhere you have to put it on gas so let me just show you how the gas starts and I'm sure we've done this but you press this button in and you hear the clicking and once the meter goes into green you know the fridge is on gas so do we like these manual selection fridges do you no <laughs> we went to Stowe Gardens because we were out all day we, we left it on gas yeah we came home didn't we and yeah. I must put it on battery and then when we got back we'd forgotten to put it on electric haven't we yeah and when I woke up in the middle of the night I th went to the fridge there was water at the bottom yeah and that's why I don't like them because it it's so easy to, to forget. forget to do that yeah. we've got a moving off checklist yeah we uh, sorry we've got a yeah moving off checklist we haven't got a um, moving in <laughs> moving in checklist yeah, yeah. which would probably include setting the gas yeah on the or, fridge or, yeah putting it back on lecky or on gas yeah. wherever you, you happen to yeah play. i mean it's not the end of the world it's just no. in this day and age manual en energy fridges mm. i think they're more to be honest i think they're more suitable perhaps for caravans because then you've gone somewhere and you you're on electric hookup yeah and it's it's done once isn't it's it it's done once yeah if you go out in a motor especially one that moves about a lot yeah and we've, we've been out a lot in this yeah and Obviously, we've, we've got to leave it on gas when we're out and about, if we're yeah. parked up. Yeah. And then you, you're driving back and you think, put it on battery. Yeah. And then, you for, you know, yeah. like the other night, we completely forgot that to put it on electric. Yeah. See that? I mean, the other thing about it is that the ignition is actually on a battery. There's an AA battery in there, which can go. And uh, then you've got no uh, ability to light the fridge. No. In a motor, and you, you're probably going, like, say, you're going to be using that quite a bit if you're parked up. Yeah. And how long is that battery going to last? You don't know it's gone until you can't yeah. operate it. Well, it, it did go on us, yeah. and uh, we got it changed. But uh, I don't know, really don't like the manual. End. Stop going on about it. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Right. But the fridge itself, now let's be positive, the fridge itself we managed, haven't we? Yeah. Not the biggest of. Uh, freezer thing. It's amazing what we have fitted in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, but it is a little tardis in other ways. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you got, you know, we've got milk and stuff in there. We've got this. Always got this. Well, that's the other thing <laughs> that always happens. We've got this for our cheese, and yeah, it's pretty good. It keeps it nice and cold. Yeah, yeah. The beer's always been cold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. I think I'll just climb in the fridge actually. It's nice nice and cold, and cold in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Loads of stuff in there. Let's put that in there. That's tonight's meal, is it? The uh, stir yeah, fry? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But. Uh, oh, no, don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> right, the kitchen. What you've got, start with the cooker. You've got a three burner gas hob. That works well, it works good. Not bothered it doesn't have an electric hob. No. But that that's fine. You see we've used it. Crumbs everywhere, haven't they? What we've got here is a nice bit of workspace. The van comes provided with a plastic drainer tray and a chopping board. And uh, famously they jumped off here. It hit, it went what it hit a speed bump, went over a speed bump, they jumped off and landed on the floor. So we're not using those. No, put them away. Put we? them away. Yeah, we don't trust them, and I really don't think you should have things that that loose when you're driving. Reasonable size cutlery drawer. We have we made good use of that. Mm, it's easy to get at. It's that deep. Yeah. 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 No, that's a good, a good size drawer. That's good. Yeah. I can't help but open, open lockers here. Oh, I know. This is a great cupboard. This is fantastic, this cupboard. It yeah. goes a long way back and it's wide and you can fit just all your paraphernalia in there. We've got toasters, we've got pa pots and pans and yeah. anything you could need in the kitchen. It's this is brilliant. Yeah, it has. 
the best one of the best things about the kitchen of this van is this cupboard here. Oven. It's a reasonable size oven. It's got a grill yeah. under there which we haven't used. I think we've used it. No, we? no, no, we haven't no. used the grill. No, it's it's a nice oven. It always lights first time. No, yeah. no issues with it. No problem. Very simple controls. Yeah. You've got the uh, grill that side. Yeah. You've got your oven that side. An ignition button, which actually runs off the battery, uh, off the uh, off the vehicle battery. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention the Don't, fridge. Don't. I mentioned the fridge again, didn't I? Yeah, and you've got all oh, well, you've got all the um, oh. cables and you've got me vacuum cleaner in there. Yeah. Oh, going on there. That's it. I've got the vacuum cleaner in there. I've got my water hose. I've got aerial cables which you haven't used. And um, yeah, great cupboard. Mm. So this this area is is great, isn't it? Yeah. I kitchen really like kitchen it. is perfect. You've got the cupboards above, haven't you as well? Oh yeah. Got a poppy cupboard. Poppy's cupboard. Yeah. We've got food cupboard. Food cupboard. Yeah. And and plates and plates and cakes. Yeah, plates and cakes. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't say crockery. <laughs> uh, you've got two main sockets there. Switch for the kitchen lights. The tap's nice as well. Tap's good. Tap. Yeah, that works well. So that's the kitchen. I think that's one of my favourite areas. Great. I mean, we mentioned the step earlier, oh, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. But one of our one good thing about the step is there's no problem with you sort of stepping Th down. There's no step in the here, is there? Yeah. No. Which some vans, I, I mean, we'd look round. Yeah. There's a step there, yeah. and you end up, you know, putting your foot down that. So. Yeah. Yeah. There is a bit of a step up. Yeah. There. Yeah, I do have to. Poppy has a little bit of fun and games trying to get over that step. She's not sure how to tackle it. No, we, off, we lift her out don't yeah. we, most of the time. The door is the same sort of door that we've got, Hartel door. So you've got a blind in the door. Which is nice. Which is quite nice. Yeah. You can look out. And the bin. And you've got the bin. I mean, the Advance didn't have a bin, did it? No. They? No, the Advance doesn't have a bin. The Alliance oh. has a bin. You yeah, know. yeah. That's why, why is the price difference? Yeah. No, it's a nice door. We haven't had any problems with the door. No. Got a fly screen, which is absolutely Fly brilliant. screen across. It's yeah. not. It's just been nice to leave the door open with the fly screen. Yeah. That's yeah. been good. Hasn't Isn't it, Poppy? Poppy? Yeah. And Poppy quite likes sitting here with the fly screen. Yes. Just looking out on a surveying her empire. I mean, the other thing for Poppy is yeah. that. In our van, she's only got one window sofa she can sit on, look out the window. <laughs> sure. Here, she's got a choice, haven't you? Yeah, so you've got, she's got two perches she can sit on to look out. So I think Poppy's enjoyed this van very much. Yeah, nice and relaxed, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Right, the great thing about the shower room is that you've got a door here that you can actually prop open. Mm. As you can see, there's not a huge amount of space in this area. And particularly, particularly when you're sitting here, um, I suppose it's not too bad. The knees are there, so it's usable. But this door is great for when you're having a little wash in the wash basin, mm. because you can see there's not much room between here and there. No, I mean, there's that box underneath. Is yeah, that's covering the wheel arch. That is the wheel so? arch. Yeah. Can't do so they can't do that. anything with that. There's a good storage under yeah. here where we keep our wash bags and that works well. We've got lots of storage here, quite a tall cupboard. Could do with another shelf up there. That would be good. And that is the main mirror that you've got in the van. It's yeah. the only mirror in the van, isn't it? So I mean you could use that with the door open. Well yeah, that's right. I mean you, it, if you're doing yeah. if I'm doing my makeup I would I would be here, wouldn't I? Yeah, you would. Yeah. 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 Toilet, and obviously it's a swivel toilet, so you can turn that round. Is this Poppy's crate storage area? No, this is the shower, and the shower has been brilliant. That's been good, hasn't it? Yeah. We've used this several times. We've been u we're using it whilst we're here because there's no toilet facilities here, and it's been really good. Drains away nicely. There's two drain holes. Got a little sort of duck board over the drain holes. 
and really enjoyed having a shower in here. Mm, it's, par it's powerful, isn't it? Yeah. And warm, and yeah, there's not enough room in there. Yeah. What would you say about the shower? I like the shower itself. The only difficulty is drying yourself in that small area. Yeah, if I've opened all the curtains. If you open all the curtains, yeah. 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 Because yeah, no, there's not much changing area no, there, is there? No, no, there isn't. But you get I used to it. I mean, when you first go in, they think, oh, this is tiny. But yeah. over the number of days we've had, you yeah. do get used to it. I think the other thing to remember is that you wouldn't always be using the shower room. Because more often than not, we're on ca uh, caravan and motorhome club sites or camping and caravanning club sites that have got toilet facilities. So we've been having showers in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. But, so. but having said that, you know, we have used... Mm the facilities in here. I think we did at um, Home and Fest, didn't we, we yeah. since we've been here, so yeah, yeah no, I, I like the shower. Yeah. Um, the one issue we have is we think there's a leak from the oh, bathroom yeah. tap. Yeah. We? It, this, we, slowly. Yeah, we, we ha we're going to have a little list that we give back to Bailey of things that we found wrong and uh, there is a tiny little leak here off this tap. It's just dripping ever, ever so slightly. What it means is the pump keeps going. Pump's going about once a month. I think you've got it. Once a month. Once a, month. <laughs> once a minute. Once. Yeah. I think you've got it turned off at the moment. So. Have I got it off? Yeah. Uh, no, I've got it off now. So oh, it hasn't oh. actually gone for a while. Oh, so maybe it's just run out of <laughs> leaking. Yeah. 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 Could be. Right. So the big question is, would we buy it? You're asking me. Well, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, it's forty-seven thousand nine hundred ninety-nine pounds. Forty-eight thousand pound with yeah. a pound change. Yeah. Um, for that, you see, you've got the solar panel, you've got the TV, you've, you've, you've got, got the aerial, you've, yeah. got, the aerial, you've yeah. got the door, you've got the fly screen. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of things that come as standard with this, yeah. don't they? That yeah. you know we would want sort of as a, well, we'd, we'd like to have. Um, the only things I sort of hesitate a bit about are the fridge and the bathroom, I think. Yeah. Um, things I love about it and would make me want to buy it are the, the lounge area. Yeah. Because it's been great having a lot of people in here, sitting around in here, very easy to, to entertain. Yeah. I love the kitchen. The kitchen's very easy to work in. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Plenty of cupboards, which in some of its rivals to this van that can be up to ten thousand pounds more mm -hmm. don't seem to have as much storage in the kitchen, in the kitchen. they seem to have a lot of little drawers no, no. but we've liked these bigger cupboards because they seem yeah. easier to put things in yeah so if i was on looking for this size van and we have sort of talked about whether we might downsize again to this mm -hmm. type of van it would definitely be on my shortlist so you'd shortlist it yeah, yeah. definitely yeah and it would be possibly one or two on my list yeah yeah i think i'd agree with that um I'd l i love driving it, it um, mm. obviously i do all the driving and it, yeah it's maneuverable it's nippy mm. um it gets into spaces that you wouldn't dream of going with a, with a bigger motor with a seven me meter motor that's a, been a big thing for us because it's it's brought back so many memories of when we used to just yeah. do that we yeah, yeah. never had a car with us we just had the van yeah we'd go out for the day and we'd stop up and we'd have yeah. picnic lunches and yeah. even cook a tea in the van which we've done with this yeah we? that's right yeah, yeah. so uh, my my hesitations would be the table yeah um the the bed is okay i've, I've got on with that all right i am it's a little bit of a chore but i'm getting better at that and you can see how quickly you can make the bed up i would definitely do something about this table yeah i'd yeah, find, an, I'd find another table yes and just probably leave that at home yeah or? um yeah fridge possibly would make me think twice yeah it's this yeah it's a manual fridge isn't yeah it? i suppose you get used to it um but other than that i think i'd definitely shortlist it mm. yeah and there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of good stuff in this van for comparatively not a lot of money. I know £48,000 is a lot of money, but uh, when it competed to start at £58,000, yeah. and you yeah. have to add more kit to it yeah. to bring it up to some of the, the equipment that you've got already got in here. The solar panel, yeah. particularly. Yeah, solar panel, extra yeah. What, for that. yeah. You know, for goodness sake, why is that an extra? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, I mean... It could do with a little bit more storage, I suppose. But yeah, yeah. We always question: Do we need to bring 
you know, the, the amount of stuff that we normally yeah. take with us. We don't, we don't, we wouldn't bring, with this van, we wouldn't bring Wastemaster, we wouldn't bring Aquarol, we no. wouldn't bring an awning. We might bring an awning if yeah. we took the car with us. If we fitted a tow bar, we'd tow the car behind us, and a lot of that stuff could go in the car. It could go in the car. So, we, yeah. you know, we, we can, and I think we've said before, we can turn our motorhome into a caravan Yeah. doing that. And people said, oh, it's reverse caravanning. Yeah, you're right, it's reverse caravanning. <laughs> <laughs> it means you can stay longer at a, yeah. at a site. Well, so when we had this size van before, we had, we always used to bring the awning with us, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and we used to put that up and then leave the bed up yeah. and sit out there in the evening. Yeah. Then yeah. there isn't this problem of, all well, you're tired, you want no, to go to bed. No, no, make the bed up before the bed was already made up. Yeah, so actually bringing an awning wouldn't be such a daft no, idea, would no. it? No, and we used to put it in the shower, We used we? to put it in the shower, yeah, and yeah. You could, we could do that here. Yeah, 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 we could. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't think not having an awning is a problem. No. I think because you go out in it more, because it, it somehow, when when you you look at it, it's got that sort of appeal... I want to get going. I want yeah. to take you somewhere. Yeah. And so there you, therefore you're going out. As long as you've got access to emptying your water and filling your water, yeah. we're doing that, aren't we, on the way out yeah. or on the way in? Yeah. And um, somehow that gets it all sorted. We don't have, don't have to think about doing it later. No. 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 So, no, I've, I've really enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah, more than I think the other vans that we've been kindly loaned. Yeah. This has been my favourite of the three. Yeah. Yeah. Can we keep it then? Can we keep it? I don't think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, let us keep it. Yeah. Uh. No, it's been brilliant. We've really enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications icon, and you get updates when we release our next video. Yeah. So yeah. then we're off home, aren't we? And then. Yeah, we're off home. This last video in the series. Yeah. Um, we are going to. I am going to release another video, and that will be about the tank museum. Yeah. Yeah. So watch out for that. And then we're off in August, aren't we? Yeah. Little Tara, we think. Yeah, Tara yeah. will be coming with us. Yeah. So we'll see you see then. You then. Yeah. Bye, Bye then. then.